Welcome to ABC Open, I'm Catherine. And I'm Benj. In this video, we're gonna show you some of the things you can use to make a mini documentary. The first thing you'll need is something to record your story with. You can use a video camera, a digital SLR, a point and shoot, or even your smartphone. Whichever one you choose, make sure your lens is clean, your batteries are charged, and make sure you have a large memory card because video takes up a lot more memory than photos. Get to know your camera. If you're shooting with a smartphone, make sure you shoot horizontally, not vertically. Otherwise you'll end up with large black stripes down either side of your picture when you put it on the television. Also, make sure your lens is at the top, otherwise you can discover your project is upside down when you import it into your computer. Make sure you know where the built-in microphone is so that you don't accidentally cover it with your finger. Most cameras do have an inbuilt microphone, but you can also add an external microphone like this to improve your sound. You want your shots to be sharp. Smartphones, most camcorders and point and shoot cameras focus automatically, but with digital SLRs, it's a bit more tricky. I like to focus before I start videoing. To do this, I either use the auto focus button or I can manually focus using the magnification button. However, I can't use the magnification button whilst filming. And if I try and use autofocus whilst videoing, this is what happens. To make sure you get some shots that are rock steady, and to give your video a more professional look, put a tripod in your kit. A monopod is also handy. It's a great option for getting your shot stable when you're on the move. You can even make your own stabilizing device. Grab a soft bag of rice, and you've got a great sturdy base for your camera. It's really good for low shots. Another option is a wearable camera. You can mount this camera on a car, on a bike, or even on your own body. It's a great way to get footage that feels like it's right in the thick of it. 